Welcome to this session, everyone. This session is going to be quick introduction to bind. Before we start with bind, uh, just a refresher, what is DNS? I'm sure everyone is aware, but I thought to add uh, the basics. So DNS or domain name server is used to translate or resolve host names into IP address and IP addresses into host name. With an increasing number of services depend on DNS, which is why like configuring DNS is an important task for Linux admin. Uh, guys, uh, if you are still not aware what is DNS, let's take example when you put google.com in your browser, what happens? That particular name google.com is translated into IP address. And that the whole work which DNS server is taking care for you. Your DNS client, which is your local machine, send request to DNS server and name resolution happens. And what is bind? Bind is open source software that enables you to publish your domain name system information on the internet and to resolve DNS query for your users. The name bind stands for Berkeley Internet Name Domain. Uh, guys, uh, for example, let's say you don't want get an internet service provider to set up a domain for you, but instead you are a small company. You want to use your own domain server for your small setup, then go with your own setup. Other thing which uh, is applicable to me, because I do a lot of testings for my lab, uh, delivering tutorials, for that, I always need a DNS server. One thing which I can do as a workaround, I can uh, update the local host database, which is basically slash etc slash host file for name resolution, but that's going to be manual work every time. What if I create a DNS server instead and put all the required uh, DNS configuration onto that one to resolve my name into IP, IP into name? That's easy for me. So there are multiple benefits of having your DNS server. And in this lab session, you will be capable to create your own lab DNS server after watching. Uh, and uh, that's absolute, like you have to do uh, your setup or configuration and do some practice after that. So let's begin. Other thing, why to use bind? First benefit of bind, bind is open source. Basically, you don't need to pay anyone to use this software. You can tailor the bind as per your organization requirement or your lab setup requirement. What it mean? Uh, basically, bind comes as uh, tarballs or RPM. Let's say that particular RPM or that particular tarball is not suiting your requirements. You want some update. That's easy. You can update the bind software as per your requirement and you can use that one. So no one is going to stop you on that. Other thing, bind is the oldest and most commonly used DNS server. So you are going to use a software which is widely used over throughout the world. Next thing, understanding the DNS records. There are many type of DNS records, but to make this session simple, I will be discussing the basics only. For example, a record. A record mean uh, the address hold the IP address of host name. It resolve IP into host name. Next one is a PTR record. PTR record is basically the pointer resolves host name into IP. C name. C name allows multiple name for each TCP IP address. For example, let's say you got one uh, name like lab dot net but you want another name like mylab.net which will point to your lab.net then that is called c name so c name is canonical name which will point to your a record or ip address so that can point uh, both ways so guys uh, that was quick introduction to dns in next section we will be talking more about bind dns server lab requirements and pre-requesties. Thank you.